Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profit Sessions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning Codeigniter version 3 HMV tutorial for beginners. This is our part 4. Inside this video session guys, we will see that how can we call one module from other module. In the last video guys, we had seen that how can we create our module inside HMVC modular based programming. Back to editor. Now inside this code igniter HMVC setup, in the last video, we had created one module something called message. Now we are going to create another module and by the help of that module, actually we will load or call that module from another module. So how can we make call of them? So for that, I am going to create one more, one more module inside these modules. So just we have to create a folder and let's say that school now this is the module that actually we are creating now inside this school folder as we know that we have to create three more folders for our controllers now for models and finally for the views so creating these folders now we had created all these folders inside this school module folder now inside this controllers folder i'm going to create a file and something called school.php this will be our controller for this module now inside this php code let's say that class school extends and this is something called my underscore controller now this is the controller actually we have defined or created inside this core folder now i'm going to define our constructor so public function let's say construct and the first thing first we need to slice our construct function of our parent constructor now the first method we have defined inside this school class or school controller now let's say that we are going to define some methods so function and let's say that get school name and inside this let's say return or let's say simply echo and inside this I am to write inside h4 tag so h4 and let's say that kv number one so this is our school name let's suppose that and also let's define one more method inside this school controller and something about get let's say school and something let's say address now by calling this method actually we are going to equal the address of this school so let's say that x y z sample location and somewhere city and here is finally something called test country now this is the actually address we are returning by the help of this method now we have two methods inside this school module and inside this school controller now we are going to call or we are going to use this method to our other modules so let's say that as we have created message in our previous video session so we are going to use these methods or we are going to call these methods inside this message controller so open up controller this is message.php and right here as we have defined some methods inside previous video so as we have seen in our code igniter playlist that while loading any model while loading any helper any library we need to use called this load and the method actually what we are going to load let's say that if we are going to use something called model so this is the syntax actually we have used something called this load model and inside this model actually we have to pass the model name so in the same way if we have called a library so this is the library and this is for the helper so these are the syntax actually what we have seen so far inside our code igniter playlist now this time 
we are going to load our module so what is the syntax before load that so the same this load and we have to write module here now inside this module we have to pass the module name so let's say that we are going to load only a single module or if suppose if we have to load more than one module then we have to make an array inside this module method so this time only we have a single module so this should be school now we are ready to use all the methods inside this school controller so back here and let's say that echo or before echo because inside the method get school name already we have the echo statement so copy and let's say this module name and this is the module method name so if I save all these changes copy this method back to browser and let's say index.php and if I write about let's say message and here is the method name called so underscore message press enter now as we can see that this is the school name what we are getting as what we have defined inside this method in the same way if you want to use the another method to so copy the method name go here and let's say this module name and the method name so if I save all these changes back to browser reload this page now this is the address actually we are getting so this is the way guys how can we load or call one module method to our another module so this is the thing actually we have implemented inside this construct function of this message controller we can actually use this thing inside this my controller as well so let's say that if I comment this thing go here reload this page now we have some error undefined property obviously because we have called these methods but this object does not exist so how can we make that if I open my controller and as we know that my controller we have accent right here inside this message controller so we are defined inside this parent controller so let's say that inside this construct function so this load module and here I am to specify our module name so let's say school all we have done now reload this page and the error has gone and the output actually we got on the output screen so what is the difference between defining here or inside here so there is a big difference inside this controller while loading this module all the methods are now available for this controller only but while defining inside this parent controller all the methods for this module is now available for all the modules what actually we are going to create or we will create inside this modules folder let's make some more modules so if I collapse this collapse this and let's say that I am to make simply let's say a string or only a string here so if I press enter now successfully we have created that now we have to create some folders for our controllers back here create folders for the views and for the folders for our models as we have seen from our previous part and this part that actually we are continuously creating the three folders called controllers models and the views what basically use of these folders so we will see about these folders in deep in our upcoming videos now inside this string folder inside this controller I'm going to create a file and something let's say string dot PHP now here let's say class something is string extends and this is all about extending my controller now here and to define our construct function so this would be construct and first thing first we have to slice our parent constructor now inside this string controller I'm to define some methods so it's a public function and simply it will return the string length so let's say that my underscore string length now here we have to pass the string variable 
and finally we have to return so let's just return this is PHP function and inside this I'm going to count the length and return by this method and also inside the same controller let's say that my upper case now inside this method we are going to convert the string either into lower case or upper case we will return that value into upper case so we are going to use called str to upper our php function so str to upper and inside this i am to pass this string variable so successfully guys we have defined two methods inside this string controller so go inside message or my controller now i'm going to load one more module so get rid of that so this time we have more than one modules to load so this should be array and inside the second and to pass our string now after writing string the methods of a school module and the string module now available to our all modules so back to message and if i scroll down and let's say that we have some string value and let's say string equal to let's online web tutor now i'm going to write echo this the bar module name we have called a string and inside this string we have called my strlen copy this method pasting it here and i'm going to pass inside this method again copy to go call the second method so copy this go inside message controller and pasting it here and i'm going to bit make a break line here so br and br here so save all these changes back to browser reload this page now we have some error and error is that cannot use a string as class name as we know that a string is a predefined or a reserved keyword so let's change the name of that so back here and i'm going to rename firstly rename to this module so it should not be string let's say my string and also we have to change the class name so it should be my string and finally we have to load this my string inside this my controller so my string and by the help of this my string actually we can call all the available methods inside this my string controller so save all these changes back here reload this page to solve this error back to editor and this is called to undefined methods so these are undefined methods and this is because actually the file name we have if i go inside my string controllers and the file name also we have to rename and it should be something my string.php so if i save all these changes back to browser reload this page now as we can see that successfully we have called our methods and also here as we can see that this is the total count of that string so back to editor now if i separate into these two separate lines so echo be a tag be a tag and save all these changes back to browser and these are the two methods actually we have called from my string controller now inside this video we actually understood about that how can we load one module inside another module simply by calling this this load module and inside this module method we have to pass our module name this is the same what we have seen so far by the help of this helper method library and the model so inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop your comment I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.